All right, team. It's time to shine. We're about to embark on a heist like no other. Uh, yeah. Together. Bang, bang, kapow, karate time. <laughs> Sleepy Joe, why did you interrupt my speech? Whoopsie daisy. I thought my mic was muted. President Biden had me trapped in a corner and was doing karate moves on me. Snitch. Guys, are you sure that Bill Clinton is not available? Sleepy Joe, stop harassing Taylor Swift. Guys, it is no time to argue. Is everyone ready for the heist? Obama, do you mean... Is the heist ready for me? <laughs> I'm going to carry Wait, the team. Wait, hold on a second, folks. Before we start, can anyone explain why hot dogs come in packs of 10, but hot dog buns come in packs of eight? I mean, what's the deal with that? Joe, seriously, we're about to execute a heist, and you're asking about hot dog math. This is not the time for your random thoughts. Come on, guys, let's not get too worked up over a hot dog debate. We're a team, and we've got a job to do. I really want to fuck shit up and get so much money. Taylor is right. Sleepy Joe, get your head in the game. We need to focus and make this heist a success. Uh, uh, okay, Donald. Uh, ouchies. Uh, much better. Okay, I'm ready to play. That was disgusting. Ew, I can smell it through the headset. What are you talking about? Obama's breath? I thought we were going to buy him some mints and not tell him. Fuck you. We were talking about that disgusting fart that you just did. It wasn't me. It was Taylor Swift. What the hell? First of all, women do not fart. Second of all, I'm going to write a song about you. There's already a song about me. It is called Baby Shark. No, no singing Baby Shark. Enough stupidity. It is time hey, for the heist. Who changed my clan tag to simp? Who the fuck did that? It was me. Oh, ha 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 ha. You are so hilarious, Taylor. You know what? I'm going to give you a higher cut of the money than Obama and Sleepy Joe. That's not fair. Yeah, what the hell? I did all the setups with you. What the heck, Donald? I should have more than Joe and Taylor. But I believe in equality. The black guy and white guy should be treated equally and have equal money. Taylor deserves more money as she is hilarious and women deserve to be treated better. What the fuck? How can you of all people take the moral high ground? Wow, this is racist. How can this be racist when you, a black man, and Joe, a white man, are being treated equally? Sorry, Obama, but it is just a skill issue. Get over it. If you think about it, an Oreo biscuit could be racist as it has black and white parts, but no Asian parts. Hmm. We should fix that. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. 25%? What the heck? Donald, this is why people think you are a simp. Wow. So you think Taylor Swift doesn't deserve money because she is a girl? Wow. That is sexist. <laughs> I just caught Donald calling Obama sexy in 4K. <laughs> Good one, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yep, you are definitely not a simp. All right, team, this is it. The big con. Our mission is to infiltrate the casino, blend in, and walk away with that sweet virtual cash. Remember, we need to stay calm, composed, and stick to the plan. What's the plan again? Oh, for the love of God. Okay, so Sleepy Joe, the plan, anything that you think you should be doing. You need to do the opposite. Oh, like that SpongeBob episode, Opposite Day. What? Uh, yeah, whatever. This is going to be hard. We have the opportunity to execute the perfect con. We'll outsmart the casino security and make a clean getaway. Remember to be stealthy. Do not pull out any weapons until we do, Joe. Okie dokie. Guys, I have a confession to make. I never finished my ninja training. So, stealth might not be my strongest suit here, but hey, I can always rely on my quick wit and dazzling dance moves to distract the guards. Joe, remember what I said about opposite day? Joe, get in the back of the van. Hey, that is my line. I always say, hey there, little fella. Get in the van. I have some candy. What the heck? You should not do that, ever. Why not? Hasbulla loves candy. Oh, I thought you meant someone else. What? Oh, there was little Timmy, but he is in the basement now. Just joking. <laughs> Psst, Obama, I'm looking at you. Sleepy Joe, concentrate. Obama, what the fuck? Do not blow our cover. I knew today would be a disaster. Sorry, I, I, um, I was just creeped out because Joe is just dancing. Why do you get to drive? I'm stuck with Joe in the back of a van. Every child's nightmare, ha 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 ha. That is not funny, Donald. Did you know that every 40 seconds a child goes missing or is abducted in the United States? Approximately 840,000 children are reported missing each year. That is a true fact, Google it. Every 40 seconds? Wow, someone fast must be stealing them. Perhaps it is the Flash. 
I heard that Ezra Miller was being a naughty boy. I love bad boys, but he is too naughty. Perhaps it was Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. Donald, are you okay? You seem a little quiet. Yeah, I'm okay. It is just that I'm a massive Taylor Swift fan and she just told me off. Sorry, Donald. I didn't mean to offend you. I just didn't like the joke that you made. I understand if you hate me. Taylor, I could never hate you. You don't understand. Your music, it's been more than just catchy tunes for me. It's been a lifeline, a source of solace in my loneliest moments. I've danced to your songs, sung along to every lyric, and found comfort in your melodies. I wake up every morning to shake it off. Are we there yet? Wow, way to break the awkwardness, but yes, we are here. Oh yeah, time for the heist. I am so pumped. Remember to stick to the plan. This is more exciting than doing a concert. Oh, you crashed. Oh, oh, this is the end. Sleepy Joe, stop being so dramatic and please, please, please do not mess this up. Uh, I'm dead in the back of the van. Obama, you need to give me mouth to mouth. Uh, you, what the fuck? My screen is black. All I can see is black. Oh, no offense, Obama. Joe, what do you mean by that? I mean that black is my favorite color. Technically, black is not a color, it is a shade. Wait, what? Wow, Donald, you just cured a racism. Well done. No, he did not. And black is a color. My skin color is literally black. So do I have to say my skin shade is black instead of my skin color is black? Sounds like a you problem. Shut up, it is heist time. Oh my God, I am so scared right now, guys. I, my hands are sweating. Calm down when you panic. I start panicking. Oh God, we're going to fail. Stop right there, both of you. This may be your first casino heist, but it's certainly not mine. I've been in situations like this before, and I know how to handle them. Taylor, what should we do? I'm sweating like crazy here. Wait, what if I'm melting? Oh my God, I'm a wax model that came to life. My life is a lie. I am not real. President Biden, don't worry. Sweating means your body is reacting, getting ready for action. Embrace that energy, use it to your advantage. Keep a cool head and remember, we've planned this meticulously. You are not a wax model. You are as real as me. Oh my God, she is a wax model too. Shut up, it is showtime. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Baby shark did the little little baby shark did the little little baby shark did the little little baby shark. Sleepy Joe, why are you singing Baby Shark? We are doing a fucking heist. Mommy shark did the little little mommy shark did the little little mommy shark did the little little mommy shark. Joe, what the fuck? Can you even hear us? Oh my God, he is messing up everything. Grr. President Biden, can you hear us? Oh, you interrupted my song, Taylor. As a musician, you should know better. You're doing a heist, so please concentrate. No more singing Baby Shark. But I sing Baby Shark because it reminds me of the power of simplicity and unity. In a world full of complex problems and divisions, the innocence and catchy melody of this song bring people together, even if just for a moment. It's a reminder that we can find joy in the simplest things, despite the challenges we face. Uh, when did we ask? Stop fucking pointing at me. Now, why does it feel like I am playing Get Annoyed by Joe Biden Simulator? I feel like that every single day. I point at you all because it's a way of acknowledging your strengths and contributions. In this intense moment, I want you to know that I see you, I, I appreciate you, and uh, I believe in your abilities. It's a small gesture to remind us that we're a team, and together we can overcome any obstacle. In other words, you just want to annoy them. Damn girl, why are you being zesty like that? Did you just call me gay? Wait, what? No, I thought zesty meant spicy. So you are calling me hot? No. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, so you think I am ugly. You are breaking my heart, President Biden. Both of you, shut up. We need to run to the vault and rob the gold. Whoa, you told Taylor Swift to shut up. Maybe you aren't a simp anymore. You can shut up too. Come on guys, spill the beans. Is there something shocking the government won't tell us? Like, is there a vault of gold or a vault with a UFO in it? Well, um, Taylor, there's something um, you should know deep within the government that there's a secret division called Project Pandora. They're experimenting with uh, genetic manipulation, creating super soldiers with enhanced abilities. It's uh, deeply concerning. Joe, you weren't supposed to reveal that. We agreed not to disclose anything too sensitive. Sensitive? 
I've seen the super soldiers watch sad videos and not even tear up. Not that kind of sensitive. Project Pandora sounds really boring. There's also Project Puppeteer. I thought it was going to be bringing Kermit the Frog to life, uh, but it is just some weird scientists with their doohickey thingies brainwashing and mind-controlling musicians. Wait, what? That is very interesting to me. Wait, have they brainwashed and mind-controlled someone that I know? Wait, have they brainwashed or mind-controlled me? No, it doesn't work on blondes. Guys, shut up and help get the gold. Ah, take that, you stupid table, yeah. We are criminals and trashing the vault. Sleepy Joe, how much gold have you collected? 11,700 billion teen. That is not a number. You better not have zero. All right, all right. No need to be such a buzzkill, Donald. I'll get on it, no cap. Sleepy Joe, please spare us the cringy slang. You're not exactly a spring chicken anymore. Just focus on the task at hand. Fine, I'll flex my hustle skills and collect these shiny stacks. No need to rain on my vibes, Donald. Give me strength. These young ones and their funky phrases can't even understand half of what they're saying. Give me strength. Who do you think you are? Goku with his spirit bomb. Did someone say bomb? Shut up, Obama. We are not invading Yemen. Donald Barack, when I first thought about doing a heist with you and Bill Clinton, I was excited. But when you told me President Biden was replacing Bill, I expected a different experience. But I have to say, Joe's silly antics have brought a different kind of energy to this whole thing. He is more fun than Bill Clinton. Bill does have a way of adding his own flair to any situation, but I understand what you mean, Taylor. Joe's silliness does bring a lightness to the heist, even if it's a bit unconventional. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bill can be charismatic, but sometimes it veers into the creepy territory. President Biden, you always bring a lighthearted energy to everything we do. Is there a reason behind your silliness? Oh, no. He's going to talk about the B. Uh, uh, well, Taylor, it goes back to my childhood. I had a traumatic experience that shaped how I approach things. You see, my best friend was a bee. I know it sounds strange, right? I'm not judging you at all. Continue, please. This bee, we had a special bond. It was my little companion, always uh, buzzing around, keeping me company. But I was never good at socializing. I felt out of place, like I didn't quite fit in. But the bee made me feel alive. Uh, he was a constant presence, and he was silly. So silly. That is so nice, but what happened next? Uh, well, it's a bit of a heartbreaking tale, really. You see, I didn't have many friends growing up, and my mom, in her own way, tried to toughen me up. She believed that I couldn't make friends and needed to learn some hard lessons. My mom, she made me eat a bee. Yeah, you heard me right. She believed that if I couldn't have friends, I didn't deserve any. It was a misguided attempt to toughen me up to make me more socially capable. That is horrible, Joe. I'm sorry for bringing this up. He always talks about it. Joe, I know you haven't finished your tale, but we need to get out of here. Donald, let's go. Did you just try hit me? Donald, come on, 10 seconds left. Fine, I was trying to get the last bit of gold because Obama failed to hack and open the room, idiot. Shut up. How about you try hacking a vault door whilst having Joe Biden crying about his dead bee friend? Oh yeah, I forgot. Joe, how does your story end? I still don't understand how having a bee as a friend makes you silly right now. So the reason I act silly is, well, you see, my bee friend had this unique spirit, always buzzing about, bringing joy to my days. When I ate him, a, a part of that spirit transferred to me. So whenever I'm silly, I can't help but think that my bee friend's spirit is alive and well, buzzing around in my antics. Me being silly makes me feel like he is alive again. I miss him, but now I have two of the bestest friends ever. Bestest is not a real word. I always tell you this. Oh, no, guys, my hands are sweating again. And it's not just ordinary sweat. Look, it's it's multicolored. Joe, what in the world? Are you turning into a human mood ring or something? Hey, guys, you, you know what this, this multicolored hand sweat reminds me of? Those companies that suddenly remove all the vibrant LGBTQ plus colors from their logos when July starts. Joe, please think before you speak. Do not get us canceled. Can we shoot people now? I'm ready to release the pain. What the fuck, Obama? Calm down. Jesus Christ, I've never known such a destructive person. And I met so many people, so many. All right, everyone, listen up. We need to make a clean getaway. Follow my lead, stay low, and stay hidden. We can't afford to be seen or raise any alarms. Agreed, Donald. Stealth is key here. Let's keep our movements smooth and precise. 
Oops. Hey, Taylor, I've been meaning to ask you, if, if you were a flavor of ice cream, what flavor would you be? Joe, we're in the middle of an escape, and you're thinking about ice cream flavors? Focus, man. Ice cream helps me focus. Well, Joe, if I were an ice cream flavor, I'd have to say I'd be something sweet, like a combination of caramel swirls and rainbow sprinkles. A little bit of everything, just like my music. If it is everything, then that includes bad things like poop and wee-wee. What the fuck? All right, enough ice cream talk, folks. We've got a mission to accomplish. Barack and Joe are drinking beer. Wow, you little snitch. No tickles for you. No tickles. That is a good thing. No, uh, Donald and Barack love it when the Joe Biden tickle monster gets them. Shh. I hacked open the door because Obama failed uh, again. <laughs> but seriously, follow me. Stay stealthy. We should be able to get out of here without a problem. Donald, sorry that I don't waste all my time looking at GTA heist walkthroughs and don't know how to hack like you. Stop arguing. This is more stressful than being in a submarine near the Titanic. Wow. Too soon, Joe. Too soon. Did you hear about the man who thinks he is an owl? Who? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I get it, because you said who like an owl. Shut up. We need to escape from the casino. Be stealthy and stop being silly. Joe, move from the door, now. Huh, what? But there is a nice fellow there, peekaboo. Uh, he shot me. What do we do? What will the presidents and Taylor Swift do now? Have I ruined the heist by getting them detected? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I mean, wait until part two. Thanks for watching, and here is me singing Baby Shark. If you like the video, then please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Baby Shark. Mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark Daddy shark to do 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 daddy shark to do 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 daddy shark to do 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 daddy shark Grandma shark to do 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 grandma shark to do 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 grandma shark to do 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 grandma shark Grandpa shark the doo 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 Grandpa shark the doo 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 Grandpa shark the doo 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 Grandpa shark. Let's go hunt the doo 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 doo. Let's go hunt the doo 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 doo. Let's go hunt the doo 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 doo. Let's go hunt. Round our way to the doo 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 doo. Round our way to the doo 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 doo. Round our way to the doo 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 doo. Wow, I do. Safe a lost it to the dip to the safe a lost it to the dip to the safe a lost it to the dip to the safe a lost it 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 to for God's sake, Sleepy Joe, why did you have to alert the guard? You have ruined everything. Sorry, Donald. I was just playing peekaboo with the man. He has a cute face, and, uh, well, I am sorry, but in my defense, I, I'm really good at peekaboo. No! I wanted this heist to go smoothly. We were meant to be stealthy. Sleepy Joe, I am blocking you. Donald, calm down. Yes, Joe messed up. However, he tried his best. And don't forget that it is a miracle that we even made it this far without him messing up. I am blocking you as well, Obama. I wanted this to go my way. Calm down, Donald. Hmm. When I get angry with someone, I write songs about them. Why not sing a song about President Joe Biden and how you feel? Well, people do always tell me that I have the voice of an angel. Hmm. Okay, how about this? You ruined everything, you stupid bitch. Donald. You ruined everything, you stupid, stupid bitch. You're just a lying little bitch who ruins things and wants the world to burn. For God's sake. Bitch. You're a stupid bitch. Donald, stop. And lose some weight. What? You, you, you think I'm fat? Oh, take it back. No. You blew our cover. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm not your friend, and after this heist, I'm replacing you with George Bush of all people. Great. 
Great, you made the President of the United States of America cry. Do you feel proud of yourself, Donald? Why, yes, yes I do. Thanks for asking. Now can we just ignore Sleepy Joe, or shall I say Weepy Joe, and concentrate on the heist? It should still be salvageable. As long as we don't get shot, then it should be okay. Stick together and remember that we have no spare lives. That's a lot of police cars. Guys, what are we going to do? When, uh, what if I get arrested? Did you know that if you drop the soap, someone named Bubba will clean your back? President Biden, that was strange, but weren't you crying a second ago? Huh. Wait, was I crying? Wait, maybe I was... Hmm. Sometimes I forget things, haha. Uh -huh. Sleepy Joe, why aren't you wearing a mask? Well, to be honest with you, Trumpy Dumpty, I am bored of wearing masks. We had to wear so many masks during the COVID-19 pandemic. And honestly, I like the way the air feels on my silver hair. I feel like a dog chasing a golf cart on a ravioli desert. What the heck? Wait, Donald, you never moaned at Taylor for not wearing a mask? It is literally because you are still simping over her. I do not simp over her. I can't believe you want a lady to wear a mask. Wow, so rude, Obama. I bet you tell Michelle to go to the kitchen and make you a sandwich whenever you get hungry. I am a feminist and believe women shouldn't hide their faces. Unless they are a four or below, then they should cover up in those things that Muslim ladies wear. What the actual fuck are you saying, Donald? That is borderline racist and you can't call yourself a feminist. And then say that if a woman is ugly, then they should cover up. That is just messed up. Oh my God, guys, I just caught Barack Obama in 4K saying, if women are ugly, then they should cover up. Wow, listen to the recording for proof. If a woman is ugly, then they should cover up. That is just messed up. What the hell, Donald, you edited the audio. Guys, be honest, would you rank me a seven or higher? Am I the only one who is focusing on this heist? Donald, stop posting out of context clips of Obama on Twitter or X or whatever it is called. And if you want to help a woman, then you can start by helping me succeed in blowing shit up and securing the gold. Obama, shut up. And President Biden, I would rank you a six. Now, please concentrate on the game. Actually, it is truth social, but okay. We need to get to the getaway cars. Hmm. I call shotgun with Donald. Hey, 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 road trip. Nope, Joe, you are with me. You can't be trusted with the others. Fine but I'm choosing the radio station. I want to sing The Only Girl in the World by Rihanna. No, no more singing will be happening. I already have a headache. Well, Barack, you should try a Trump-approved headache cure. Take a golf ball, place it on your forehead, and roll it back and forth. It's like a presidential massage. Oh, no, no, no. The best remedy is an old classic. Get yourself a warm towel, soak it in pickle juice, and then place it on your head. The sour tanginess will cure any headache in no time. Golf balls and pickle juice, huh? I think I'll stick to some good old-fashioned rest and maybe a painkiller. There is a helicopter above me. Ugh, I think, uh, uh, that helicopter is going to kill me. Guys, why, uh, go on without me. Sleepy Joe, you are perfectly fine. What the heck are you talking about? You are not some anime main character. Go on without me. What's wrong with you? Don't ask. Girly Pops, you would not be able to handle the tea. Did you just call me Girly Pops? What the heck? Let's just focus on the game. Donald, I'm going to drive a separate way to you. I know you tend to let your intrusive thoughts win and start crashing into me. Oh, oh my God, Obama, your mask scared me. Ha, 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 oh God, that was a scary thing. Shut up, Joe, I have a headache. Oh man, Barack, you just destroyed that street light. You know, it reminds me of a funny story. Back in my hometown, there was this legendary street light called Old Blinky. They said it had magical powers and could grant wishes to anyone who touched it at midnight. I'll touch you at midnight. What, Donald, that was a very sussy thing to say? Says the man who sniffs children. Yeah, why do you do that, President Biden? Oh, well, you see, it's not what you think. I know it might sound weird, but let me explain. Back in my younger days as a senator, I used to volunteer at schools and community events quite often. Kids are full of energy and curiosity, and they're just so darn adorable. So I hope this explanation gets better. Trust me, it will. You see, one day, a little girl came up to me with a fresh bouquet of flowers. She was so proud of them, and she said they smelled amazing. I couldn't resist, so I took a little sniff. I then told her that her hair smelled like the flowers as a compliment, but then it all went wrong. Let me guess, you went overboard and started smelling everyone's hair? <sighs> no. 
Oh, it is hard to talk about. Come on, Joe Biden. What would Superman think of you? Oh, okay. So, uh, 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 so after I sniffed her hair, a little boy ran up to me and asked me to sniff his hair. Well, I told him I couldn't as I was busy. He was so sad and he walked away sad and then, then a bus hit him. Wait, what? A bus hit him. And I realized that if I had just stopped to sniff his hair, then he wouldn't have been walking away sad and wouldn't be squished like a bug. So I always sniff people's hair to ensure they are not hit by a wild bus. That's the craziest excuse I have ever heard. Wow, it is so unbelievable, but nothing is too weird when it comes to you, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, well, can we talk about something different? That sounds good. How about the new Loki trailer? Did you see it? Is Loki the one with the pointy helmet thingy? Yeah, he is the one with the pointy helmet. Joe, don't forget, we all watched the first season of the Loki TV show together. But uh, didn't he kiss his female version of himself? So was that some Alabama kind of thing, or is it okay to kiss an alternate version of yourself? Nope, there can only be one Donald Trump. Thank God for that. Imagine having two Donald Trumps to deal with. What the hell, Taylor Swift? Guys, what are you going to spend the heist money on? I'm going to upgrade my cars and make them all solid gold. They will look tremendous. I'm going to buy more explosives and blow up stuff. Wow, what a surprise. Obama's going to blow things up. First Yemen and now Los Santos. Shut up, Donald. Great, now I am stuck. This car is terrible. This is Donald's fault. Oh, look at Obama getting angry because he got a car stuck. Barack, what are we going to do? What if the police find us? Oh, my God. How are we going to escape without a car? Shut up, just shut up. Don't forget that this game is literally called Grand Theft Auto. So we just do some of our own Grand Theft Auto. Huh? We have to play GTA on GTA? I am confused. No, Grand Theft Auto is the crime of stealing cars. So we just need to steal a car and escape. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't like doing crime. We just robbed a fucking casino vault. Yeah, but gambling is bad because it feeds off of people's addiction. So we are basically Robin Hood. Joe, we just need one car, any car. Oh my goodness, it's a tractor. No, do not let him set foot on a tractor. He will start singing. Oh God, no, Joe Biden. Don't you dare get on that tractor. Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads take me home into the place I belong, West Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home, country road. All my memories gather around her, mine has lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine. Tear drop in my eye, country roads take me on to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, and take me on country roads. I hear your voice. In the morning, now she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. And somehow I get the feeling like I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. This country road take me home to the place. I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, and take me home, the country roads, the country roads, and take me home, 
to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, and take me on country roads. Oh, and take me on a country roads. Sleepy Joe, I didn't tell you to shut up because that singing was kind of nice. Thanks, Donnie. I'm actually going to audition for America's Got Talent. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I didn't tell you to shut up because that was kind of nice for a screaming cat impression. <laughs> Joe, stop crying. Your crying is distracting me. Well, tell Donald to stop being mean to me. I wish this biker was him. I would go stamp, 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 stamp on his goofy noodle hair. Grrr! Why he got to be so mean to me? Joe, don't take it too personally. Donald is still mad that he lost the election to you. Just beat him again in the 2024 election. There is no way Sleepy Joe will beat me. You know how I'll win the 2024 election? Simple. It's like this. 2024 is a number. Numbers have digits. Digits are used in math. Math is all about calculations. And you know what requires precise calculations? Golf. And who's a fantastic golfer? Donald Trump. So clearly I'll win the 2024 election because my golf game is on point. Guys, I somehow lost my car. I think I parked it up the mountain. I don't know how I got on the mountain. Hmm. What is a ballerina to do? Sleepy Joe, you are not a ballerina. And you're not the president. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Guys, I found a car. It looks nice. Wait, there's a man in the car. Get out of the car, Mr. Man. <laughs> My car has shiny red and blue lights. It is so cool. For God's sake, he stole a police car. President Biden, you are useless. Useless? Oh, flibberty flabber. You know, it is part of a plan, a granular plan -a rooney Granular plan -a what now? Joe, you're speaking gibberish. Yeah, see, I was going for a zigzagging, flibbertastic getaway. Zippity zap, zoom, zoom, you know? It is poem time. In the night, we wait and hide with hearts racing side by side, gold bars gleaming, oh, so bright, escape the cops under moonlight. <gasps> Trump and Obama by my side, Taylor Swift, a starry guide. In this heist, we take the lead, a daring quest, a risky deed. Through alleys dark, we swiftly creep, golden treasures, secrets keep. Sirens wail, our hearts take flight, but determination fuels our might. Dodging lights with every turn, in this game, we live and learn. Through chaos and uncertainty, together we face adversity. With Trump's cunning and Obama's grace, Taylor's wit, my earnest chase. We dance with danger, hearts unite to overcome this thrilling plight. And as we laugh and cheer with glee, this motley crew, you and me, in the end, as dawn draws near, we'll raise our glasses loud and clear. For in this moment, we're a team, dreamers of an audacious scheme. United, bold, and unafraid, together we will make the grade. So here we stand, victorious with gold in hand, Oh, so glorious. In this tale, we'll forever share our friendship strong beyond compare. Joe, your poem was mid. Seriously, though, have you at least lost the cops? We need to hurry up and complete the heist. They won't stop following me. I'm driving the car up a mountain, and they just won't stop. Just lose the cops. It isn't that hard. Says you. Who is the one who might be going to jail? Because it isn't me, a Rooney. That is a low blow. How can you say that to me? It is fake news. I finally lost the popo. Obama, can we be homies now? What the actual fuck, Joe? Don't ever say homies ever again. No, what the heck? And now, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and perhaps even subscribing. Also, let me know what kind of games you would like us to play next time. Oh, and look at Sleepy Joe with the bronze score. Ha 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 ha. Wait, Obama got platinum? How did he get a better score than me? What the hell? That is fake news.